One of my favorite techniques to fish when I'm out on structure is something called slow death. Basically it's just a bent hook with a crawler on it and that bend in the hook makes the crawler spin and that attracts walleyes to bite. What you're going to typically do on the structure is pull it behind a weighting system called a bottom bouncer. So there's a couple of key things that you got to remember when you're doing this kind of fishing is first of all you've got to keep your bait moving. It's kind of in a precarious situation down there. It's getting dragged along. If you make too sharp of a turn or slow down your engine too much, plunk it's going to fall over on the bottom. It'll be dragging. It won't be doing what you want it to do. So keeping the boat moving and keeping it moving along smoothly are real important and that's where this XI-5 trolling motor is really an invaluable aid. What I like to use on the XI-5 when I'm slow death fishing, bottom bouncer fishing, is something called heading lock. And basically what heading lock does is, is I can get my motor pointed the way that I want it to go, get it to going the speed I want to go, in this case just so that crawler is turning, and then I can just simply hit heading lock, and it's a simple little button right here on the, on the key fob here, and when it's in heading lock, it will keep going that direction it's pointed until I adjust it. I'm going to watch my depth finder or watch the contour lines on my GPS, and as I've got to make a little bit of an adjustment to keep it to a certain depth, I'm going to just simply use the right and left buttons to hold on the brake I want. But here's the real cool thing is, when I make an adjustment with the motor in heading lock, say I go to the right, the motor will turn to the right, and then as it starts starts to get going that direction I want it to go, it will actually straighten itself out. So it's actually cutting your bow control right in half. The second thing is, is that these nice turns that it's making are smooth enough that it's going to keep that bottom bouncer up and keep that bait spinning. So the beauty of the XI-5 is, especially for a technique like this, when you put it in heading lock, it's going to make nice smooth turns, it's going to keep the boat going the direction you want, so that you can mess around in the boat or do whatever you got to do, you don't always got to be watching it, but it's going to keep that bottom bottom bouncer up, it's going to keep that slow death hook spinning and I guarantee it'll catch more fish.